So question number 23. The fifth term of an AP is 82 and the 12th term is 103. Fine. The first term and the common difference. Now, the general format of a term is written like this. A plus N minus 1 into bracket D. So for fifth term, we write A plus 5 minus 1 is 4. D is equals to uh, 82. Now, the 12th term is A plus 12 minus 1 is 11. D is equals to 103. These are simultaneous equations. We eliminate A. A minus A is 0. 4 minus 11 is minus 7D. 82 minus 103, you get minus 21. Okay, minus 7D is equals to minus 21. Divide both sides by minus 7. Divide by minus 7. So minus 7 my, divide by minus 7, you get 1. Uh, minus 21 divide by by minus 7 you get 3 so d is equals to 3 which is our common difference having obtained our our d then we substitute d in this equation to be able to get a so a plus 4 multiplied by 3 is equals to 82 now a is equals to 82 4 times 3 is 12 cross to the other side becomes minus so it's minus 12 a is equals to 70 so the first term our first term a is equals to 70 and our common difference d is equals to 3 so that's how you work it out you earn yourself 3 months Part B of Roman number 2, the sum of the first 21 terms. The general formula of finding the first n terms is written like Sn is equals to n over 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 into bracket d and we close our bracket. And our n is equals to 21 from part Roman number 1 we found our a is equals to 70 and our d is equals to 3 so it's a matter of just substituting so the first the sum of the first 21 terms uh, is equals to uh, 21 over 2 2 multiplied by a which is 70 plus 20 uh, 21 minus 1 multiplied by 3 and we close the bracket so 70 times 2 is 140 that's 140 uh, 21 minus 21 minus 1 is 20 times 3 so it is plus 60 and this is uh, 21 over 2 so when you add 140 plus 160 you get 200 so 21 over 2 times 200 is equals to divide by this you get 200 divided by 2 is 100 100 multiplied by 21 you get is 2100 so that's how you get uh, that is the sum of the first 21 terms uh, in that uh, question so but uh, B of the question, we are told the circle stair, was built and subsequent stairs were built uh, and, and a uniform uh, difference height. The height of the sixth stair is from the under, that is from the floor, is 85. The tenth stair is 145. So we are going to use the first stair as our first term and the, subs the, the subsequent the stair uniform is our common difference so you say our a plus n minus 1 into bracket d uh, so for the sixth stair you say uh, a plus a, and that is 6 will be now 
5 my 6 minus 1 is 5 d is equals to 85 and then we have a the, the that is the tenth stair will be 10 minus 1 is 9 d is equals to 145 these are simultaneous equations and we can eliminate a so a minus a is uh, 0 5 minus 9 is minus 4 d uh, is equals to now 85 minus 145 is 60 we divide by 4 minus 4 both sides minus 4 so we we'll find d is equals to 15 so that is a common difference once you get uh, d is uh, minus is 15 then substitute d in our first uh, equation to get a so a plus 5 multiplied by 15 is equals to 85 so a is equals to 5 times uh, 15 is 75 so 85 minus 75 a is equals to uh, that will give you 10 this means that uh, the, the, the first stair uh, that is the first stair height is equals to 10 centimeter and is that is uniform uh, uh, that is a uniform difference our height uh, height of the subsequent uh, stairs uh, was 15 centimeter so you get yourself uh, three months by getting uh, those two finally we look at uh, part c during the construction of the stair each stair was supported by a vertical uh, piece of timber if the staircase has 11 stairs calculate the total length of the timber used now we have 11 we have 11 stairs and we have found that uh, for the subs for the height that is uh, the, the, which we called common difference was 15 15 centimeter this means the height of the, the height of the timber used will be because we have 11 and each timber was 15 centimeter then we just multiply 11 times 15 and you get it is 165 centimeter this is the total length of the timber that was used in the construction of the stairs. And that brings us to the end of that question. Uh, by doing that, you earn yourself two marks. Uh, and the whole, whole question, you total to 10 marks. And this is something you covered in Form 3 in the topic known as sequence and series, which we'll be doing uh, at a later date. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to be able to see uh, one of the most wonderful videos, mathematics videos coming very soon.